how you doing? Happy birthday, Palooza. It's June 1st, Saturday, and I hope you're doing well. I've been on a bit of a hiatus for a while, so I figured today for the first day of birthday Palooza, I would come and chat with you about what I've been doing, what I haven't been doing, and give you an update on my stitching and knitting progress. And then after today, the plan is for daily vlogging style updates. So I hope you enjoy. It's birthday Palooza, so it's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of craziness, and just, you know, summer fun in June. So, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for joining. I'm Gerald, Ginger Gerald. And in June, as of, this is the second annual birthday palooza I've had. So, my birthday is in June. And to celebrate my birthday, because for me, birthdays have always been a big deal, I wanted to do, instead of doing a a sow or a stitching thing or any kind of activity like that last year i decided to do daily updates because i know a lot of people do daily updates in may i don't do that so i figured i would do it in june and celebrate the birthday so here we are again second annual birthday palooza that's no, not four that's uh, two second annual birthday palooza and lots to talk about today so it's been about three or four weeks since I have sat down and talked with you all. Life has been crazy. So normally I would check in on a weekly basis, but after I finished my grad courses at the beginning of May and work got a little bit busy, I kind of took the time to just sit down, relax, take some time for myself, and enjoy the things that I have really liked to enjoy that I haven't really had a lot of time to do. And now that this, uh, the weather is getting nice, I've also been focusing on my garden, which will show up in other videos, birthday palooza videos. So we will chat with that again soon. But I've been doing those things that I haven't really had a chance to do. And in order to do that, something had to take a back seat. And part of that would be videoing because videoing does take a lot of time. So I decided that I would start fresh June 1st with the big birthday Palooza video. So what have I been doing? I've been doing a lot of stitching. I've been doing a eh, little bit of knitting. And I have been doing a lot of binge watching on Netflix and YouTube. And not even really so much floss tube videos. I've been watching a lot more other videos such as gardening, like urban gardening and orchids and all kinds of different stuff that we'll get into a lot more in later uh, days in Birthday Palooza. What have I been knitting? First off, we're going to go to the scarf that I had put down for a while. This is my Pearl Soho diagonal pinstripe scarf. And I did, I had, I went away to a friend's house to a, for some TV and I really wanted to watch Chernobyl. It's the new show on HBO. It's a four part miniseries. I've watched the first two episodes, no spoilers. We already know what happened, but you know, I'm really excited to see that. I've always been fascinated with Chernobyl, so whenever I went over there to watch those episodes, I decided to take my pinstripe scarf because it's something really easy I can focus on. And I can focus on the uh, TV and not have to really focus much on the, the knitting. So where I started at was right there. And there is my progress. So, I don't know. I put in another two stripes, a lot more of the, the main color. And here is where we are so far. So that is my Pearl Soho Diagonal Pinstripe Scarf. I am stitching, I'm knitting this in Knit Picks Palette. And this is Pumice Heather. Yes, Pumice Heather. 
and the 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 stripes are in a brass heather. So those are the two colors I'm doing the scarf in, pumice heather and brass heather. So palette yarn from Knit Picks. And there is the scarf one more time. And what's nice about this scarf is you put the stripes in however you want, whenever you want. So I'm trying to not be so methodical with this, trying to just be random and making it unique and different. And so it's really neat to stitch and just a lot of fun. So that is some knitting progress that I made. The only other thing that I have made any progress on is that I have a finish. And that finish would be my sock. I finished this today. So this is the, honestly, I don't even remember what it's called anymore. It is a color work sock that I did. It's a ribbed, rib and color work sock. Unfortunately, it doesn't fit. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I really like it. If I could just get it over my heel, it would fit. But because the color work, and I even made sure that the color work would be loose, I can't get it over my heel. So I am not sure what I'm going to do. I'm not sure if I'm going to pull it out and start over again. Just not sure. I have plenty of, uh, plenty of yarn to work with. I could easily make a pair of, in the yellow, I could easily make a pair of short socks. So not sure what I'm going to do. So I'm putting this on hold for now until I decide what I want to do. But that is my sock. So until I decide what I want to do with that, I have decided to pull out a Knit Picks Hawthorne and the color Portsmouth. And that will be what I do my next set of socks in. And there it is. I'm really, I've been holding on to this one to get started. So I'm really excited to get started with this yarn. It's right up my way with the colors. These are all the colors I absolutely love. And I think I'm going to do a basic, a basic sock, but I'm going to do ribbing. I'm going to do an entire a sock and rib. So there we go. That is all of the knitting I have done in the last almost month. Now on to stitching. is Henry. So to remind you what Henry looks like when he is completed, here is what he will look like when he's finished. It's a heaven and earth designs. And I am done. I finished him on today's June 1st. I finished him on Tuesday, so 1st, 30th, 29th. I finished him on May 28th. So I it took me just under, like just under two and a half years. So June 4th would have been exactly two and a half years since I started Henry. I started him December 4th, 2016. And here he is. So I stitched him on 28 count white Lugana, one over one, full cross. So one, one strand of floss over one on full cross. Uh, and here, so there is the corner I finished last. And if you're following me on Instagram, you would have already seen it. I went ahead and put my signature right down here in the corner. 
very simple and subtle. I don't know if I can get it to, no, not going to zoom and not going to, uh, and here is Henry. I know all of you have been waiting for this. Here is Henry. Complete. So I am super excited that Henry is done. I was so excited. I had to post something on Instagram, but I wasn't going to let anybody see it right away on Instagram. I wanted to show it first on YouTube. So here he is again, Henry, completely stitched, 90 colors, total stitches are of this, this one is uh, 400 wide by 478 high. You can do the math if you want to figure that out. 400 wide by 478 high. And there he is. And here is the back. Pretty awesome, right? So, what I plan on doing is sometime in the month of June, I have a lot of things going on this week and next week, but hopefully after that, I will get him uh, to Hobby Lobby. I already have the frame, but I need to order the glass and the mats. I have a fairly certain idea of what I want for mats, and I will get all that ordered so I can get him framed up. I am planning on stretching him myself because I've learned how to do that myself, just to save on, on money, unless Hobby Lobby can give me a really good deal, and then I'll just have them do it. But I plan on having uh, framing, it, my, framing him myself since I already have the frame, and I will just go ahead and order the mat and the glass from Hobby Lobby. So, that is all the uh, stitching I have done since I saw you last. I've been working on him straight through since Easter, right after Easter, I pulled him back out and I have been working nonstop since. So very pleased that he is done. But because of that, I've taken a couple days off from stitching just because it's such a big piece and I know many of us do. I know many people would be like, oh, you, are, you deserve a new start. I thought about doing a new start. I don't want to do a new start. I really want to get some other things accomplished. So these are the pieces I'm really going to focus on in the next uh, few weeks while Birthday Palooza is happening. So another reason I started Birthday Palooza was because I really wanted to focus on getting some finishes last year. And this is another great opportunity because I wanted to have a new start on my birthday last year, which I ended up not having a new start on my birthday. I think I did it a couple weeks later anyways. So these are the pieces that I would really like to focus on finishing, if not in June, sometime soon for just to have them done. The first one, as you all know, and the goal was to have it done by my birthday. I'm not putting that stress on me. Whenever I get it done, I will get it done. And that is my By the Bay piece. All I have left is part three of 13th Colony Bay. That is what it will look like when it is done. I have not started 13th Colony Bay yet, or part three. I only have parts one and two done. So here's where it is as of right now. So part three will go over here. So I will be putting that on the cue snaps today. This is number one, uh, one of the two pieces I would really like to see finished in the very near future.
And secondly, with the other one that has a little bit more progress that needs to be completed is my mushroom sampler. I started this a year and a half ago in January of 2018. It's already on the Q-Snap because I had started a second, another motif a while ago and lost interest in it. So here is my starting point for the mushroom sampler for this month. So I'm going to focus on working on, I would like to get this sampler or this motif done. Ultimately, I would like to get the entire outside border done. I have this motif and one more down here in the bottom corner and that outside border will be complete. So those are my goals for this month is to get those two motifs done, as well as trying to get as much done on by the bay as possible. I have a few other idea, um, stitching things that I would like to get accomplished. I'm not going to put that out into YouTube world because I don't want to stress myself out with trying to get plans done, but I have them in the back of my head as like what I would like to do if I have time and have the opportunity to get a good bit of stitching done. Since school is wrapping up for the school year, my work school, I will have some free time at the end of June that I will be able to focus on, but also at the end of June, I have grad courses starting back up for summer. So I have two more grad courses I have to complete this summer and I'll be done with my college program. So that also has to take priority. I hope you all have a wonderful birthday Palooza and join me in finishing all the, the large projects. I keep in mind you have 29 days after today to finish your large project for the large project finish competition. Please make sure if you are planning on entering the large finish large project finish competition, you go back and rewatch the videos that I have put out on that on the entry requirements and you follow the directions uh, carefully because if you don't have everything in the email that you need to email me for, you will not be entered. I look forward to seeing all of your entries. I've been enjoying watching, uh, seeing all of them come in and looking at all the pictures as they come in. And I'm looking forward to uh, editing that video whenever it comes after June and getting out the prizes because we have lots of great prizes. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. Happy birthday, Palooza, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a great time and don't forget to always be creative. Beautiful.